One of the Epiphany add-on's main features is importing data from the API of virtually any data source. This allows you to import data from almost anywhere, which is what makes Epiphany so unique. This is done using an HTTP method called get. Many applications use this same method to get data from other applications, like when news sites feature actual tweets or Instagram posts on page. In Epiphany, we can get data from APIs as well, and this will likely be the feature you'll use the most. In this tutorial, we'll show you just how quick and easy it is to use Epiphany for importing data into Google Sheets. To make a GET request, make sure your method is set to GET in the method dropdown. After choosing the appropriate HTTP method, input your desired API endpoint, or endpoints, into the API URL path field. Stacking multiple URLs will let you import data from several endpoints in sequence. If your request contains or requires headers, such as a key and secret, input them in the headers field. You may add as many header rows as you like. Every time you make a GET request, Epiphany overrides any data on the sheet. You can prevent this by toggling Append Mode. Toggling this mode makes Epiphany add new data underneath the previous data set instead of overwriting it, which can be very helpful if you like keeping record of all historical data. Once you've finalized the details of your request, Click Run to test it. Epiphany will process your request, and after a few seconds, you should see your imported data right in your spreadsheet. Congratulations, you now know how to import data with the GET method using Epiphany. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions, and we'll see you next time.